Okay, this is going to be the third um, recording for this tool, AWOL69. I'm going to try and get one or two hits. Um, if you want to know more about any of the tools, head over to my website, rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for further information. Also, if you've not already hit subscribe, don't forget to do that. That would be a great way of supporting my channel. Thanks again for your support. So this is my 10th recording or the 10th session uh, overall. I've done a, a range of different roulette tools, which, you know, I'm using. And I'm currently using this AWOL um, 6.9. Click to play. What does this do? Basically, what this does is cross off the numbers that have been out and reveals the numbers that I haven't yet hit <laughs> from the history. So if I input the history of numbers from right to left into the tool, like when I click 21, it crosses it off on the race track on the tool. And it counts up how many unique numbers, how many different numbers have hit. So I'm going to input the history of numbers. I'm going to throw, go through each one of these numbers by clicking them. Once I've clicked on each and every one of these numbers, it will give you a better indicator of what yet uh, has yet to hit based in this sh on this short amount of information that we're gathering, this short amount of data that we're, we're gathering here by doing this. Um, so I've input 13 numbers and at the minute we've got four numbers in a row there. Basically this, this message up here, uh, it reads, look for three or more connected numbers. That's three or more connected numbers that have yet to hit like 28, 12, 35. That's three in a row. Minimum of three in a row is where we can place a bet. If it's two or less, we don't bet on those. So zero, 32, we don't bet. Four, we don't bet. 6 we don't bet, 13 we don't bet, 10 we don't bet, 24, 16, 120, we don't bet on those. So we can do 9 to 29, 12 neighbour, and the 20 landed, um, 25 neighbour, and 30 neighbour. So I can do 3 here, 3 there, that's 6, 3 there, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers I could bet on now if I wanted to do so. Um, 13 numbers is a little bit too many numbers to be fair on this setup. I would prefer to cover no more than 12, really, um, and no less than 6. And I could bet on those numbers now um, and maybe get a hit, but it's still a bit too many. Um, I might not do... What I might do is this instead. I might go 9, 22, 18, 29, and 28, 12, 35. So if the ball goes to the left of zero, I might get my hit there. Or if it goes past the one, I might get catch those numbers. And that's only covering seven numbers then, which would make more sense. Um, there's number one. So I think uh, I'm going to do that. So nine neighbor. 29 and 12. There we go. So I've covered seven numbers. 9, 22, 18, 29, 28, 12, 35. I've excluded the 25 neighbor and the 30 neighbor for the time being because I think this range of numbers is closer together in a range that could hit. Um, there's a zero. It's another fresh number. So I'm going to repeat the bet because I'm covering only seven numbers. I can give this um, five bets at a flat rate. In fact, I'll probably do four bets at a flat rate. And then the fifth bet will be a double up and I'll start incre increasing it from the fifth bet. So four bets in a on a flat rate will return profit. So this is my second bet. I'm looking for nine through to 35 without the seven. Nine to 35 without the seven. And that's a six. So that's another freshie. So this is now my third bet, Please place your bets. a flat rate staking plan, 10 pence per number, minimum stake. I'm, I'm really showing you minimum stakes bets. and how you can build a balance from it. I've been doing this for years, no I really have, and um, you know, it's, it's definitely achievable. So 35 to 9, let's see. And... That, oh, seven, that's the number that's already hit. That's a bit, a bit unlucky. That's right in the middle of where I need it to be. Repeat the bet. This is now my fourth bet. 
covering seven numbers. My fifth bet, I'll, inc I'll increase the stake on my fifth bet. <clears throat> so hopefully the neighbour of seven hits here. 29, 28, something like that. That'd be good. If this misses, I double up. Nine. Come on. No, 25, that's one of the numbers that I wanted to, to, to hit on. Now I don't need it, so we get rid of that. Pete. Double. Here we go. So I could include the 30 now because that 25 just landed. But because 25 has just landed, it normally brings in another number that hasn't yet hit. So we could get we could get the hit now, which would be ideal. And I am tempted to cover the 30 neighbor as well. So 35 to 9. Neighbor of 7. Yes, there we go. 28. Fantastic. That's a win. So now I'm going to do 9 neighbor and the 30 neighbor. Place your bets. Oops, wrong one. There you go. So now I'm on 9, 22, 18, 29 and 8, 30, 11. Back down to a flat rate. It's 7 numbers. Again, I can give it five, well, four bets at a flat. My fifth bet will be a double up. So 30 or 22, 18. That's looking good. Oh, it was looking good. 13. 13. That, I thought that was going to be a hit then. <laughs> this could be a hit now anyway, because 13 is only two pockets away from the 11, and I've got that 11 covered. Um, this is my second bet for these set of numbers. 9, 22, 18, 29, and 11, 30. And the eight. I think eleven could hit on this spin because it's two pockets away from thirteen. That's the reason for that. Or twenty nine, which is opposite, which is also good. No, it's number four, which is another fresh number. So repeat the bet. This is now bet number three. I'm looking for two wins in total. This will be my second bet. And this is my third time playing using this tool. I typically, when I use a tool, I do three sessions of it and stop and change to a different setup. That seems to be a good uh, ratio to work to. So 30 neighbor, 22.18. 15, that's already been out. This is now my fourth bet coming up. Fourth bet. Uh, I would expect it to go to 16.24 here. If it's not 16.24, it might hit the 32 or the 35. But I'm on 28. I'm on 29.18, 22.9, 29.18, 22.9, 11.30 and 8. That's 11.30 and 8. So <clears throat> this is my fourth bet. If this misses, I double up. I'll start me increasing my stake. Oh, hello. Five next to 24. Yep, that's about right. 15.24. Now this is a double up. Repeat. Double. So every time I lose from this position, I'm going to repeat and add a chip every time I lose. Repeat and add. 10 pence. So this is where it can get a bit expensive if it's not going to hit. Um, because it could go on a bit of a miss, um, a run where it does not hit at all, which is, can be um, detrimental to your balance. So please be aware of that. And this is now a double up. 30 neighbor or 9 to 29. And that is perfect. 18's a hit, and that was a double up. So that is me done. 18 wins. Boom. So I've got less than six numbers now. Just got the three, which is the 30, the 8, and the 11. That's it. So job done. Airball 69 does the business again. So now I've got 103 pounds, 103. Uh, 58. No bets, so I've just made six pound profit on that on the minimum chip value starting off at 10 pence, slowly building my balance. I'm now up by 83 pound 50 since yesterday's deposit of 20 pounds. I've got 103.58 if I withdraw everything now. What I'm going to do is I'll come back in a bit and I'll do another roulette tool and I'll either look to get one hit or two hits depending on what tool I'm using and um, what I can see developing using that uh, that particular tool so thanks again for your time don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up thanks for your time see you soon